Hey guys, this is Frederick Day, playing some Titanium Hound. So I went with the uh, more damage and more health. This is the, the classic perks that one would pick. Um, the regenerating shield one is probably the third most useful, but it is most likely just specific to the level. So I wouldn't know when to use it before having done so level. Reflective skin, I guess, could be good. Health pickups are too rare, so the health pickups are probably not that great. So this one, you can just shoot uh, directly in front of you, but later on there'll be cameras that are too high to hit, so you have to angle up and jump to hit them. <laughs> so the only way I can do that on a controller is with the claw grip. I have to like move my hands around a lot to, to pull it off. It's a little, little sketchy. I assume on with mouse and keyboard, you just point the mouse and no problem there. But not an option on PS5, as far as I know. But this is a pretty good slice of the combat slash exploration aspect of the game. Uh, oh, this guy has a shield, so I do use the clone on it, I think. No, I don't, see, I didn't use the clone on it, but the shield still went away. Uh, so it can't go away of its own volition, I'm not exactly sure how that works. But you're supposed to use the clone, which is L2 plus R2, and then shoot it. Maybe it just takes a while to kill it if you don't do it the correct way or something. You can also get credit for the fire that this guy drops, killing enemies, that can give you a trophy. Even though you're supposed to be doing it with your own weapon, the craftable weapon. Uh, I'm not sure what the uh, incentive is to pick up collectibles or anything like that so far. The JI floating around there. Um, these the yellow shields are for crafting, so it's the significance of those. And this is what happens when you hit a camera. I think this camera is technically gettable. The one on the left, or the one on the right here is one where you would have to angle up in order to hit it, which I did not do. It's not fatal to, uh, to trigger a camera or anything like that. I don't know if there's a European Extreme difficulty or getting cited as instant loss in the game, but just playing it normally doesn't seem to be a problem. Actually, I'm not sure if there was a difficulty setting, but it doesn't mean there wouldn't be a difficulty after you beat the game. Who could say? Um, I played this so early or quote-unquote early, I, don't, I guess it wasn't that early, but... Uh, that the trophy list wasn't up updated, which is always an interesting... But not updated, it doesn't like exist on PSN yet. Which is always an interesting feeling. I think I've only done this like four, four or five games. Usually they're not this close to release when that is the case. It's generally like a week or two before it comes out. That's when that happens. So that, that's part of the reason that I was motivated to play it tomorrow. And also I just need a game to talk over, and this game seems really, really cool. So all of the above work together. This one I do not know how to hit. Or maybe you can hit it with the... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're supposed to do with this one. Is that just a checkmate? You will always hit the solar no matter what? No idea. There's an infinite enemy spawner here. But it took me a while to figure that out. This thing above them that spawns enemies. And I guess the... These guys are blowing up our prisoners converted into enemies or something. Based on the lore. Or mechanic organic hybrids. Cyborgs, possibly. Lore actually seems kind of interesting in this game as well. In a cyberpunk sort of way. Oh, the uh, the boxes on the ceiling, which they show you in the tutorial, there's one up to the right. They have health in them. And there are checkpoints. That's the other important thing to note. It seems like all enemies stay dead for checkpoints. Uh, unless it's a boss checkpoint, then uh, 
stuff respawns, but I could be wrong about that. It's just my experience so far. Eventually I'll figure out that I can blow up the thing up down. But getting to the end of my commentary bit here. Um, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. The hum of the engines broke the silence above the blocked highway as your dropship descended to the calculated altitude and started to decelerate. You were arriving as reinforcements to solve a problem that regular police units couldn't handle. The Titanium Hound was obediently moving according to Neuralink commands. You were ready to jump down. Report, officer. The building's crawling with those things. The security systems inside have gone rogue. We won't stand a chance. I'll take it from here. Is that door gonna be a problem? No. I'll unlock it for you. Good luck.
please! Calm down. I need to ventilate the room first. Okay, let's see. Options, safety, vent controls. Oh my, thank you. I thought I was gonna die here. What happened? Do you recall anything suspicious before the accident? No, I... Wait, there was new equipment delivered recently. Huge truck with several escort cars. The couriers, something was off about them, but I couldn't figure out what exactly. Let me guess. They brought you some industrial teleporter upgrades? No, just some six-ranked printers that were too large for our teleporters. Wait, I remember one of the couriers was saying something about the truck having an engine problem. They needed repairs. They're probably still there. I'll go find them. You better stay here. Now, 
I won't say it again. Ah, uh, make me. We're almost at the district border. You can say goodbye to your jurisdiction. Damn regulations. So, you want to do it the hard way?
The hum of the engine, the interrogation revealed the terrible fate of the factory personnel. They were captured and pulled through the teleporters, along with the weapons that became part of their bodies. The saboteur said that his gang grabbed the guns from someone at one of the ARC recycling facilities, but couldn't name the contact. You need to follow this lead. <laughs>